Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Hello guys, good evening. Happy Friday, TGIF. Good evening, Miss. How are you good doing? Evening, Miss. Good evening, Mr. Evet, good evening. How are you doing, Mr. Castaneda? I think I saw Debra. Hi guys, good evening. Happy ending of the week. Camilo, great to see you. Hi, Griselda. Good evening. Good evening, Miss. Jorge, how are you doing? Glad to see you, Camilo. I hope everything is great. And uh, I think I saw Jorge right there. So great to see you too. And Mr. Cruz, good evening. David, how you doing, guys? Happy Friday. How was your day? Did you have a good day? Was your day good? Was it okay? Was it like so so? Kind of. Was it good? Teacher. Uh, Hello. Uh, only listen today. Oh, I'm are you working? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Bye. Gracias. Thank you so much. So thank you for, you know, staying there. Um, igual, si tiene un tiempito, you know, and you can, and you want to participate yeah. with us. That's amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Alrighty. Okay. So. Guys, what about the rest? Ya están en casa? Are you home already? Eh, encontraron tráfico? Did you find like some traffic? Manuel, good evening. Great to see you there. How are you doing? Oh, okay. Got it, got it. Well, Manuel, anyways, espero que llegue a casa. I hope like you finish eh, like really fast. Um, okay, thank you, thank you for that. All right, gracias, Griselda, and uh, thank you for letting the uh, for letting us know. And hopefully, uh, you can join us in some minutes. Well, guys, so thanks a lot, gracias por hacer el esfuerzo, you know, por siempre acompañarnos uh, in today's session. Yo sé que los viernes son un poquito difíciles sometimes, uh, but thank you so much for staying here. Eh, super comprometidos, you know, with uh, your classes and your progress. Eh, so, guys, parte del um, objective que tenemos para el día de ahora, parte de la agenda es trabajar un poquito con recomendaciones. Yesterday, revisamos un poco la parte de how to make polite requests. 
cómo hacer solicitudes utilizando could, would you mind, right? Uh, today, uh, we are gonna work a little bit with recommendations. Ya no son solicitudes, sino más bien una recomendación, right? So we're going to give a couple of recommendations and uh, and hopefully tengamos tiempo para revisar un poquito de listening. I really hope so. Um, so we're going to get started mientras el resto, you know, se va incorporando to it. Uh, let me just uh, present here, guys. We are going to start working. Vamos a trabajar un poquito with uh, some conversations so you can help me read them. Y luego, you know, eh, me van a dar un par de recomendaciones, right? You can give us, like, some recommendations. Um, so, guys, first of all, let's take a look at this picture. And uh, really quick, um, I don't know if it's very common. I don't know if it's in the air. Pero, ¿no les pasa que hay mucha alergia en el aire? Aren't you sick? Aren't you feeling like with allergies? Nadie en enfermo, guys. Are you feeling sick? No. Okay, thank God. Yes, miss. <laughs> what is wrong? <laughs> is it allergies? Yeah. ¿Alergia, Lupita? Sí. Or, or do you have the flu? Por el polvo y el aire. Yeah. Yes, yes, same thing here, you know. Me siento sometimes como la, como la picture, <laughs> and because of the dust, right? Como like el clima, so the, the weather, the dust, pollen, right? Um, other people, let's see, or that. So, but ¿qué es lo más común de lo que se enferma? Is it flu? ¿Les da gripe? Do you get the flu? No. No, miss. ¿Qué es lo más común, guys? ¿Qué les da? What's the uh, most common thing you get? I felt uh, sick uh, on Wednesday. Oh, uh, okay. So when I uh, go to the bed at uh, 6 30 p.m. Oh, and you but, fell asleep? Yeah, miss. Oh, okay, okay, got it. Uh, but, um, ¿cómo se dice? I say it in Spanish, y sigue, so say it in Spanish and continue, no problem. Uh, ¿Cómo le digo? Uh, but I saw, saw mm -hmm. the, uh, the I class saw? in the platform. Uh, uh -huh. I, I saw the class in the platform. Mm -hmm. uh, it was very interesting. Oh, it was Tuesday, right? Yeah. I was back on Tuesday. Yes, I remember. I remember. I was like, where is Mr. Casanel? <laughs> yeah, I remember. That was Tuesday. Okay. Oh, okay. But you said that you felt sick. Pero no de gripe, so no like, no like allergies. No, uh, miss. Uh, what was wrong? I don't know, but uh, I am on vacation. Oh, really? Are you? Yeah. Wow, enjoy it. So congrats. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, super nice. This day, uh, my family and me went uh, to San Salvador. Ah, okay. Probably um, they change. Uh, maybe. In like temperature and everything. Oh, but it's amazing. So really cool that you're on vacation. Okay, guys, what about the rest? ¿Qué es lo más común que les da? Like, Debra, what's the most common thing you get? Uh, Lupita, I think we don't have it ready, but Camilo, yeah? I was, I was sick uh, one week ago, okay. and I had a terrible stomach. Oh, and... that's bad. I don't know how do you say vomitar. Uh, you can say vomit, or you can okay. say throw up. Mm -hmm. This is the most common Thing that I feel. No, I don't know. Oh, so you normally get like you normally get like a stomach aches. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Well, um, normally I get but allergies, you know. So especially this week, it has been bad. My allergies are really bad, and sometimes, sorry, um, I'm like turning off the camera because I'm like it's when. And my allergies are getting that. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> okay. So we get like stomach aches. We get flu. Guys, ¿qué más les da? What's the most common thing you get? I have a headache. Uh -huh. 
Headaches? Okay, but no migraines. No. Only headaches. Okay. Only headaches. Camilla, do you get sick very often? Hi, Isaias. Do you get sick, guys? David, um, or are you a healthy person? Mr. Cruz, do you get sick very often? No se enferman, guys. I'm like, wow. <laughs> Your health is amazing. So, okay. Actually, today we are going to be checking that a little bit. Vamos a aprender como dar recomendaciones, how to give uh, some recommendations, suggestions, right? Uh, not only when we are sick, no solamente para enfermedades, we are obviously not doctors, solamente es tener la idea, right, de cómo puedo recomendar algo, how I can recommend. So let's take a look at this first conversation. The person is super sick. Right. Um, so um, we probably she has a cold. Quizás tiene un resfriado, right? ¿Qué más les ocurre? What do you think uh, is wrong with her? So what is wrong? La pregunta para uh, para um, hablar de enfermedades o de síntomas podemos hacerla como what is wrong? ¿Qué le pasa, right? ¿Cuál es el problema? Eh, so what is wrong, guys? What is wrong with her? ¿Qué tiene? Give us some ideas. No, no lean el párrafo todavía. Don't read it yet. Just uh, think about some ideas. Okay. What do you think she um, she's going through? ¿Qué le pasa, guys? So tenemos like, well, you mentioned headaches. Flu. Maybe. It has flu. Flu, okay. Headache. Headache, yes. Stress. Stress. That's so right. I don't know if that happens to you. Que están, estamos tan estresados que nos enfermamos, right? That our system goes down. Yes, that's right. Stress. Algo más? Anything else? Okay. What are the symptoms? ¿Qué les da cuando les da gripe o resfriado? What, what, what else are some of the symptoms that you get? Temperature. Dave? I'm sorry. Uh, Temperatura. Oh, okay. Fever. Yes. So maybe she has some fever. Okay. Yeah. So fevered. I get allergies. That's super common for me. So I get allergies and I sneeze. A sneeze is like, achoo. I sneeze a lot, right? So yo sí uh, me da mucho resfriado. So take a look at this part. Um, Miss, here we have, yes, yes, Mr. Uh, Castaneda. ¿Cómo se dice en inglés? Uh, síndrome. Uh, syndrome. Syndrome. Mm -hmm. Ah, ok. Existe una enfermedad que está muy común que es el síndrome de burnout. Ah, oh, pero eso es, uh, estamos hablando de otro nivel de estrés sí, <laughs> y de workaholics. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But uh, I don't know, no sé si está ya catalogado como un síndrome, ¿es? In our pues, country, I don't know. La, la, la OMS sí, ya, la, ya lo catalogó. Es considerado, ok. Sí. Ok. Que es cuando Entonces, uno ya se siente quemado en los trabajos. Pero ah. eso es un cansancio, like, ex. Sí. Extremo, that, extrema. Yes, uh -huh. that que su cuerpo ya no aguanta. So your body doesn't, um, you know, um, cannot take it any longer. Mm -hmm. Normalmente les pasa cuando eh, trabajan más, muchas horas continuas. Yeah, but estamos hablando de un cansancio, pero es que hiper extremo, right? Um, sé que es muy común en Korea. I know that it's super common in Asian countries. Korea, Japan, and I don't know if China. No sé si en Latin America burnout, eh, hay casos. I don't really know much about it. Eh, pero sí son países como super demandantes, right? That we work 20 hours a day. So, oh, yeah. Um, so, yes, I mean, estamos hablando <laughs> other levels, right? <laughs> Guys, ¿saben algo más de eso? Do you know anything about the burnout syndrome? ¿Han escuchado? Have you read and leído? Teacher. 
Yes. Is it safe to say sneezy uh, con moco o mocosera? Mm, no, normally sneezing is solamente la acción que usted hace. Like, I have allergies and I go like, it's true. But uh, otherwise, uh, si es como like que tengo mucha, um, mucho líquido, right? Coming out of my nose, le puedo, puedo cambiar la palabra and I can use runny nose. So runny nose is ya cuando uh, there is liquid, literally, coming out. <laughs> Pero so sería, I have nose. runny nose, o como sería para expresarse? Yes, I have a runny nose. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. actually, we use it with am. Um. So, I have a runny nose. Um, I don't remember if for this module, vamos a revisar illnesses. I believe we won't. Pero si lo van a revisar later on. But just to give you some ideas, there, that would be I have runny nose. Um, so guys, coming back to this part, si alguien sabe más del burnout syndrome, tell us it's important y también porque es importante para que trabajemos giving uh, recommendations, right? So coming back to this um, conversation we have here, uh, we have like these two people talking about sickness. Let me read it y luego me ayudan a leerlo. Then you help me read it. Um, it says, uh, you don't look so good. Are you sick? Yes, I think I am coming down with a cold. Well, you should go home then, but I really need to work. No, no, no. You should go home and get some rest. Okay, I guess I can work from home anyway. No, you shouldn't work. You should stay in bed. Okay, I will do that. Thanks for your advice. No problem. I hope you feel better. So, um, I really love this conversation. It's so realistic, right? Especially para que no somos workaholics. <laughs> so it's like, no, don't do that. Let's take a look at some expressions uh, we have right here. Oh, let me change color. Uh, let's take a look at some expressions that are very nice. So we have stay in bed. Uh, we have get some rest, right? And we have this other one that is, I'm coming down with a cold. So guys, let's take a look at these expressions. Uh, first, si quiero decir como me siento mal, creo que me va a dar, right? I can use this expression. I am coming down with a cold. I am coming down with a flu, probably. Or I'm coming down with some allergies. So I'm coming down, it's like, oh, creo que me va a dar. I think I'm getting it. Um, we also have this expression, get some rest. Oh, you should get some rest. Especialmente cuando estamos enfermos, right? Oh, you should rest. You should get some rest. Uh, stay in bed, right? You should stay in bed. Deberías quedarte en la cama, deberías quedarte at home. You should stay at home, stay in bed. Y la última is super good. It says, I hope you feel better soon. So I hope you feel better. Espero que te mejores, right? Um, so, take a look at this conversation, guys. The person is super sick. So, let me just uh, have you read it. Um, Camilo, ¿está con nosotros? Are you with us? Sí, Miss, por acá estoy. Amazing. So, uh, Camilo, ayúdanos a leer, please. Can you help us read the part of man, if that is okay? And, uh, hi, Bane, good evening. Let me see, let me see. Isaías, ¿está por ahí? Are you there? Good evening. Hello, Miss. Isaías? Isaías el inter is not working there. Um, ta -ta. Hey, Ivette, you're back. Nice. Uh, Deborah, can you help us read the part for a woman, please? Okay. So, Camilo, whenever you are ready. Okay, ready. You don't look too good, are, are you sick? Yes, I think I am coming down with a cold. Well, you should go, go home, Tim. But I really need to work. No, no, should, you should go home and get some. Rest. Rest. I got some rest. Mm -hmm. Okay, I guess I can work from home anyway. No, you should work 
you should stay in bed. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will do that. Thank you for your advice. No problem. I hope you feel better soon. All right, very nice, guys. Thanks a lot for that. Um, so, guys, solamente repiten conmigo. So, just repeat with me. Bed. Bed. That's bed. And we, I think we have another one. Oh, right here. So, then. Como si fuera una D, right? So, then. Then. Uh, then. Mm -hmm. then. That's the one. Okay, very you nice. Said, yes. You said something like that, like a holy or something like that. I heard that or, or not. Workaholic? Aha, uh -huh, like a holic. You say something like that. Probably workaholic. Oh let me let me write it. Do you write I don't, it? I don't know if that's the word uh you heard I said. <laughs> yeah, workaholic. So yes, I, okay. Um you can use the word holy for talking about like maniacs or las personas adictas, like addicted people to something. So workaholic is people addicted to work. Quienes trabajamos más de 10 horas, like 12, 15, 13. <laughs> so we are workaholic. Uh -huh. And especially con el burnout. So uh, it's, uh, it, you work a lot, right? Uh, pero se puede cambiar. Uh, so se han escuchado la palabra alcoholic. So workaholic, alcoholic, chocaholic, chopaholic. Las personas adictas a las compras, right? So we can use the word holy para hablar de adicciones. Mm -hmm. That's the, the word we use in English. Um, okay. Preguntas con esto, guys. Preguntas with the conversation. No, we're good. Okay, so super important. Say expresiones that you don't know how to say in Spanish. Vayamos anotando. For example, here, tenemos esa expresión bien útil, get some rest. Así va junto todo. Get some rest, right? We also have a stay in bed. Oh, quedarte en la cama. Stay in bed. Quedarte en la casa. Stay at home. Que te sientas mejor. Feel better. I hope you feel better. Those are really important expressions uh, that we can use. No solo like when giving recommendations, sino in, in, in um, like context super general, right? Now, um, tengo otra conversación, but for the next one, quiero que la revisemos. I want you to check it together. Uh, y la vamos a practicar porque es un poquito más larga. It's a little bit longer. Um, now, let's take a look at something important here. Uh, ¿Cómo le dio recomendaciones? How is this person giving recommendations? If you take a look, the person just says, you should, you should go home. You should go home and get some rest. You shouldn't work, right? Como si me va a dar gripe, si me va a dar un resfriado. You shouldn't work. No deberías trabajar. Guys, repitan conmigo. You shouldn't. So this little piece. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. Let me circle it. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. Tú no deberías. You shouldn't work. So guys, um, if I tell you, hey, you know, I'm not feeling well. Uh, I think I'm coming down with a flu. So, ¿qué es lo que no debería? Aparte de lo que ya tenemos acá. What is something that I should or I shouldn't do? So, you should go home then. You should go home and get some rest. You shouldn't hey, work. Take some pills. Okay, I should take some pills. All right. Like, oh, yes, I should take some pills. He should, he should take a shower. <laughs> Oh, really? Should I take a shower? Is, is bueno? Is it good? Maybe. Me acaba de poner en duda, David. <laughs> so I should get some shower? Uh, you should. If she, if she has fever, yes. Ah, okay. So with fever, I should take a shower. Okay. Okay, good. What else? ¿Qué más podría hacer? What can I do if I'm feeling sick? Me siento enferma, guys. I'm feeling sick. So you I should take a shower. Mm -hmm. a drink a tea. Ah, okay. What kind of tea? Excuse me? What Chamomile kind? 
Ah, okay. Maybe some chamomile tea. Okay. You oh, should go some... to the doctor. I should go to the doctor. Yes, I should not buy some medicine. All right. Very nice. So if you take a look, it's bien fácil de recomendaciones, but this is general stuff. Now, the second conversation, guys, la vamos a practicar. We're going to practice that one, and I want most of you to practice it, porque se refiere a un poquito diferente. This is related to learning a language, right? And at some point, todos hemos necesitado, like, some tips, some recommendations uh, to learn English. So, between English and Spanish, ¿cuál creen que es más difícil? What do you, which do you think is more difficult? English or Spanish? In this moment, English. Yeah, okay, but, but like in general, like in super general Spanish, terms. Maybe Spanish. Spanish. Spanish is more difficult. Uh, there are so many rules. And the thing is that lo llevamos practicando años. Y todavía, you know, a mí se me van, like, big mistakes. <laughs> so, um, we need some recommendations para que sea más fácil to learn things. Um, and this conversation is actually about that. So, the person está aprendiendo español. This person is learning Spanish. The person is not learning English. Y pide, like, some recommendations, right? So let's take a look at this one. Vamos a practicarla, but first, let's go over some vocabulary that, uh, that we would need here. So actually, it's bastante similar. It's very similar to las recomendaciones que hacemos en español. Uh, I mean, to learn English, but let's take a look at it. Oh, we're going to go over this one. Okay, and we're going to have this word. Probably this one. Okay, si ven otra palabra that you don't know how to pronounce, let me know. Y la revisamos. Um, oh, and this one. My favorite word. What else? Okay, so um, the conversation is bastante easy, I think. Se refiere a qué hacer, what we should do to learn Spanish. So, uh, primero, guys, repitamos las palabras que están en rojo. Let's repeat the um, red words, and then we practice the conversation. So, repeat with me. Download. Download. Down. Como abajo. Down. Download. 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 Uh -huh. So, download, right? No sé si han descargado um, alguna aplicación. So, have you downloaded any app? Yeah. Yes. Duolingo. It's a what have you downloaded? What applications do you have? What app do you have? Para descargar algún archivo. Mm -hmm. ¿Tienen alguna aplicación? Do you have any application? Have you downloaded any? No. Para aprender inglés? No, nothing. I'm sorry. Um, all right, so no han descargado aplicaciones, guys, for English? You haven't downloaded? No, I don't. No? Yes, I do, miss. Okay, very nice. ¿Cuál han descargado? What have you downloaded? Uh, uh, Duolingo. I, yeah, I think uh, this is so good. Okay, Duolingo, all right. Le funciona? Does it work for you? Uh, just me is because I uh, uh, I learning uh, oh, okay. new words. Oh, okay, okay, sounds great. Y de hecho, vamos a dar recomendaciones <laughs> in some minutes about that one. Okay, I'm learning. I think um, German with Duolingo, but for me, it's bien difícil. Uh, because yo aprendo diferente. I learn differently. So, yeah, I'm struggling. Okay, let's continue. Uh, what else? Guys, repeat with me. What else? Vamos a unir el sonido. What? What else? La T la cambiamos por una R. Exactly, very good. What else? What else? Guys, repeat with me. What else? 
What else? What else? What else? What else? Yes, very good. Nice. Um, you know, um, something that happens a lot cuando practicamos yeah. eh, sonreír. So, cuando ustedes sonríen, el sonido sale mucho más fácil. So, smile, guys. Sonríen, especialmente en esos sonidos. What else? Se ve como que uno está sonriendo. <laughs> That's the way it, it looks. I don't know why. Yeah, si ustedes se ven enfrente del espejo and you try to say what else, de hecho, se ve como una sonrisa. Yeah. Funciona mucho más y mucho mejor cuando sonríen. So try to smile. Uh, what else? Let, let's continue. Journal. Journal. Mm -hmm. Very good. There we go. Keeping. Keeping. Keep. Keep. Mm -hmm. And next one, sounds. Sounds. Yes, very good. Uh, and mm -hmm. guys, how can I read this one? ¿Cómo leo los puntos? Uh, how can I read this little point right here? That. That. Very good. So, Spanish listening.org. So, I'm going to read that little symbol as that, right? I'm going to write it in the chat so for you not to forget it. So, it's that. Uh, and the last one, la última we have here is great. Guys, again, intenten sonreír con esta. Great. 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 Yes, very good. Okay, so vamos a practicarlo. We're going to practice this one. Hay alguna palabra que you don't know? Is there any word that is kind of new that you're not familiar with? No new vocabulary, guys? Okay, so probably cuando ya lo estamos practicando, you will notice that one. Um, so, we are going to read it. Vamos a leerlo, guys. Uh, let me read it first. Se los leo primero. Lo voy a leer slowly. Ustedes pueden tomar notas if you need to. Y luego solamente lo vamos a practicar, like, in groups. Let's go with the first. Um, it starts. What is the best way to learn Spanish? Well, first, you should learn new words every day. Okay, that's easy. What do you recommend? I would download a vocab. This is like a vocabulary app. I would try to learn 10 words a day. Only 10 words? I think. I can learn 50 words a day. No, you shouldn't do that because you won't remember them. You shouldn't try to do too much at one time. Esta, esta recomendación está preciosa. Look at it. Okay, what else? Well, you should try to use the words you learn by keeping a journal and trying to use them. That sounds too difficult. I can't write anything yet. Well, at first, you can just draw pictures of new words, like verbs and nouns. Oh, I like that idea. I will give that a try. Oh, and you should check out SpanishListening.org. It is a great way to learn Spanish. Sounds cool. Is it free? Yes. It is just like hello, but for Spanish. Cool. I'll check it out. Thanks. And that's it. So, las recomendaciones son super válidas también para inglés. They are super valid. Guys, let's go ahead. Vamos a practicar la conversación. I'm going to give you some minutes. Practice the conversation. And remember, inglés es una cuestión de repetición. So, repeat it tanto como sea necesario. Just repeat it, guys. Eh, probably después de la clase no vamos a practicar. Probably durante el día ustedes no tienen con qué practicar. So, utilicemos este momento eh, 
para reforzar vocabulary, pronunciation, eh, de ser posible, intentemos evitar que suene así como bien cortado, right? En, encontremos la forma de hacerlo un poquito más con sonidito. Por ejemplo, here no vamos a leer la primera oración como what's the best way, sino intentemos repetirlo varias veces. What's the best way to learn Spanish? What's the best way to learn Spanish? Entre más lo repetimos, sale más bonito. So, no se preocupen si tienen que repetirlo dos, tres veces. Entre más lo repiten, suena mejor. It sounds better. So, vayamos lento, pero seguro. Y si pueden ir linkeando algunos sonidos, go for it. No hay problema. Guys, eh, I'm going to send you to some groups. Vamos a practicarlo. Eh, si alguien no está disponible o is working, porfa, déjenmelo en el chat para saber y que los compañeros eh, no mandarlos con alguien, right? That is not available. Uh, vamos a los grupos, guys. Les voy a presentar desde acá y voy a estar eh, por ahí visitándolos en los grupos in case you have questions or something to correct. Vámonos a los grupos, please. Go to the groups. So you can go ahead, let me see, let me see, who is missing, okay, if it, let me say yes, I'm going to send you to three, to three, to three, and to one.
Hello guys, so thanks a lot everybody for coming back. Really nice to have you and really nice to hear you. Uh, so muy buen trabajo, I heard it. Eh, super muy buena eh, entonación, muy buena pronunciación guys. Um, so with this conversation, solamente revisamos un par de palabritas that I believe eh, puede ser un poco um, confusing or eh, tendemos a, a hacerlas un poquito más como español. So let's take a look really quick. Y luego, you know, I can have some volunteers. Um, let me see. This is one of the most common words. Uh, también es reactum. Let me just... And we're going to put it together here. Okay, there we go. Mm, this one. Sorry, I'm forgetting one very important word. Okay. So, guys, comenzamos arriba. Eh, la primera palabra la pronunciamos como recommend. Es más fuerte al final. Guys, repitan conmigo, please. Recommend. Recommend. What do you recommend? Yes. Recommend. Mm -hmm. Very good. Next one. It, se ve una O, U, pero el sonido es una casi una A. Eso suena como nouns. No. Nouns. Nouns. Mm -hmm. Nouns. Like verbs and nouns. No. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. Next one. Eh, idea es lo mismo que en inglés y en español, pero se pronuncia diferente. In Spanish es idea. En inglés es idea. So guys, repiten conmigo. Idea. 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 <laughs> idea. Tengo una idea. I have an idea. So, idea. Y idea. la última, tenemos check it out. Son tres palabras, pero ahora unámoslas. So, check it. Guys, repitan conmigo. Check it. Check it. Check it. Check it. Check it. Ahora unamos el último sonido. Out. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Yes. Cool. I'll check it out. So, check it out. Lo voy a revisar, lo voy a checar, check right? Mm -hmm. I'll, exactly, I'll check it out. Mm -hmm. check it out. Es un, I'll check it out. Y enfatizamos o hacemos más fuerte el out. I'll check it out. That's I'll a one, very out. good. Okay, um, so guys, uh, well, Mr. Castaneda, I think, quería leerlo, so perfect. Mr. Castaneda, so read with me. Uh, which part do you want to read? Which part do you want to practice? Okay. Uh, I begin. Do you want to start or do you want me to start? No. Uh, me gustaría iniciar yo. Okay, no problem. That's all right. Uh, okay. What's the best way to learn Spanish? Uh, well, first, you should learn new words every day. Okay, that's easy. What do you recommend? Um, I would download a book at up. I would try to learn 10 words a day. Only 10 words? I think I can learn 50 words a day. No, you shouldn't do that because you won't remember them. You shouldn't try to do too much at one time. Uh, okay, what else? Um, well, you should try to use the words you learn by keeping a journal and trying to use them. Uh, that sounds too difficult. I can't write anything yet. Well, at first, you can just draw pictures of new words, like verbs and nouns. Oh, I love that idea. I will give that a uh, try. Oh, and you should check out SpanishListening.org. It is a great way to learn Spanish. Sounds, sounds cool. It is free. Yeah, it is just like hello, but for Spanish. Cool, I check it out, thanks. You're welcome, very nice. Already mm -hmm. very good job. That sounds really cool. All right, thank you. Okay, guys, so, uh, hay el vocabulario que aprendieron de la conversación. Is there any word that you learn? Anything? So, ¿cuáles son las recomendaciones que dan para aprender Spanish? So, tenemos, you should download a vocabulary app. ¿Qué más? Hay varias recomendaciones. 
Is it a good idea eh, to learn 10 words? ¿Es bueno, es positivo que aprendamos 10 palabras? Do you think it's a good idea? Según la conversación, is it yes, good no. or bad? It's, it's good. I agree. Uh, ok. Y la conversación dice algo bien interesante, guys. What do you think it says? De hecho, la, uh, the woman, la mujer es quien dice cuál es la mejor forma. Yes? Should you learn? ¿Deberíamos aprender 10 palabras? No. Or 50 words? Only 10. Only 10. 10 max, right? Porque la idea no es aprenderme una lista de 20, 50 diarias, sino aprendérmelo, pero bien, right? Or en un periodo más grande de tiempo. Ok. Uh, ¿Qué más? What else? Oh, look, my favorite word. What else? ¿Qué más? Hay más recomendaciones. What else do you read? Teacher, keeping a journal is um, como una... Ay, no sé. Tengo la idea, pero no sé cómo traducirlo en español. A journal es lo que le llamamos un diario. So, like keeping a diary. O en nuestro caso, it could be keeping a notebook. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, it's like como mantener track de lo que vamos escribiendo. So puede ser una libreta, like a journal, right? De todo lo que voy aprendiendo todos los días, escribir oraciones. Uh -huh. That's a journal. Like a diary. Anything else? Oh, I really like this. You can just draw pictures of new words like birds and nouns. Very good recommendation. Para los que aprendemos viendo, hagan dibujitos, líneas, mm -hmm. colores. Yes, exactly. Ayer eh, hablábamos, I think, with Vicky, eh, that funciona mucho para quienes les gustan los colores o eh, quienes son, aprendemos viendo eh, post-its, you know. Pónganle nombre a todos los objetos de la casa o pongan post-its de las palabras que les estén costando en, en su espejo. Like, se levantan, se ven al espejo, al espejo en automatically van a ver las palabras. Funciona mucho. It works a lot, especialmente con vocabulario, right? So, let's take a look at giving recommendations. Today, guys, vamos a revisar how to give recommendations. Ya lo hicieron. No es algo complicado. It is not that complicated. So, let's take a look at this part really quick. Um, for recommendations, utilizamos should. El día de ayer veíamos could para hacer peticiones. Today, we use it for recommendations. No es obligación. No le estoy dando una orden. Solo le digo, usted debería. You should. Look at the examples we have here. I should get up early. Oh my God. Debería de levantarme temprano. I should get up early to do exercise. No es obligación. It is not an obligation. You should sleep seven hours, right? So, para quienes duermen tres, cuatro. Oh, you should sleep seven hours. Pero no le estoy dando una orden. Or, he should eat more vegetables. So, but it's not an order. Guys, repiten conmigo. Vegetable. Vegetable. Very good. Vegetable, exactly. So, he should eat some vegetables. Now, cuando utilizo I, you, he, she, they, los verbos nunca se cambian. We never change verbs here. Um, so, si se fijan, todos van normales. Negative sentences. ¿Qué son cosas que no deberíamos hacer? Well, I shouldn't go to bed late, right? So, no deberíamos dormir hasta tarde, irnos tan tarde a la cama. So, I shouldn't go to bed late. You shouldn't eat chocolate. So, bad idea. He shouldn't drink coffee. Guys, ¿qué no deberíamos de hacer? What do you think we shouldn't do? ¿O qué deberíamos de hacer? What should we do? ¿Hay algo que you think we should do? I should... Oh, bueno, we, ¿no? We show uh, exercise every day. 
Very nice, exactly. So we should exercise every day. Es algo que sí deberíamos hacer. Lo hacemos. Guys, hacen ejercicio? Do you do exercise every day? No. No. It's so hard. Yeah, okay, so yesterday, wow. My admiration feels like come to my house and I'm like, oh my God, I can't. It's so hard. Okay, so take a look here. Uh, para dar recomendaciones, si son cosas que deberíamos, lo único que voy a necesitar es should y el verbo, right? So you should do exercise or you should exercise. Ambas están bien. Both are good. Si voy a armar una oración de cosas que no debo de hacer, I simply add you shouldn't, right? You shouldn't. Y luego, ¿qué es lo que yo no debería de hacer? Por ejemplo, tomo, como demasiado dulces. You shouldn't eat so many candies, right? So it's a really bad idea, especialmente por las caries, because of the cavities. Um, now, so if I want to be healthy, uh, ¿qué es lo que debo de hacer, guys? To be healthy. So this is going to be to be healthy. Uh, eat all the drink and work classes. Okay, yeah, I should drink water. Okay. Ocho vasos, right? I should drink eight glasses. Yeah. Or eight, two liters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Or a lot of water. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. So I water. should drink a lot of water. Okay. Come on, yes. guys. What else? What is the difference between Por ejemplo, esa, la, donde puso de que, que comer muchos dulces, eh, cuando se utiliza la palabra tú, antes de, de, por ejemplo, eat two candies. Mm, pero quizás con no, too many. Ah, ok. Mm, el, el tú, al igual que el so, enfatiza. Pero si es con, eh, por ejemplo, cosas que se pueden contar, Utilizo too many, como demasiados. You shouldn't eat too many candies, lo cual sí se puede. Um, pero si solamente es como la palabra tú, tendría que ser una, un adjetivo, como está muy caliente. It is too hot. Uh, Quizás así lo ha visto. Probably like this. Y el a lot, el, a lot of, como... Ah, mucho. a lot of sí es para cantidad. So, a lot of, muchos. Uh. Uh -huh. También podemos utilizarla acá, por ejemplo, usted no debería de comer mucho dulce. So you shouldn't eat a lot, a lot of candy. Exacto, entonces le quito many, ya no lo necesito. Can I have a lot of candy or a lot of sweets? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Ok, guys, Thanks. give us more. You're welcome. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué debemos y no debemos de hacer, guys? Give us some recommendations. You should walk 30 minutes. A day. Very a day. good. You should walk 30 minutes a day. Y no lo hacemos. Alguien lo hace, guys. Alguien camina 30 minutos? Do you walk 30 minutes? 20. 20. Okay, good. Los demás, do you do exercise? No, no, no. Teacher, yeah, Lupita, Lupita, Lupita walk uh, in the morning and uh, in the evening. Because uh, she walked to her her Third house. house. Yo. 30 minutes. Mm, kind of 20, 20 minutes. So 20 minutes in the morning and 20 minutes yes. in the evening. Yes. Oh, very nice. So almost an hour. I walk only like 20 minutes that in the afternoon when I finish work. <laughs> okay. Wow, very nice, Lupita. So I clap, claps for that. Okay, ¿qué más, guys? ¿Qué más deberíamos hacer? Do you, um, what do you think we should do to be healthy? You shouldn't see the cell phone a mm -hmm. lot of hours. Ah, okay, so you shouldn't like see or check or chat, right? Okay. So for so long, too many hours. Estoy de acuerdo. I agree with that. Okay. What else, guys? ¿Qué más? What else? What else? To eat vegetables. You should or you shouldn't? You should. Too. Okay. A lot of vegetables, right? We should eat a lot of vegetables. Mm -hmm. 
¿Qué más, guys? Give us more. Hay tantas cosas que podemos hacer. So many things we can do. Algo más? Anything else? You shouldn't drink um, soda. Oh, yes. We shouldn't drink soda. Okay. What about coffee? Maybe if you don't drink a lot. It's okay. Uh-huh. Okay. So you shouldn't drink maybe too much. So I'm going to write it there. So you shouldn't drink. You shouldn't drink too much coffee or soda. Okay, okay, okay. Sounds good. ¿Qué más debemos hacer, guys? What else should we do? ¿Qué hacen ustedes? What do you do para estar saludables? What do you do to be healthy? I practice soccer. Oh, okay. So you should practice sports. I agree. Oh, algo que después de COVID, creo que la mayoría les que nos quedó probably. I don't know if you guys, but in my case, I think it's important to tomar vitamina C. So you should take... Um, uh, it's nice to eat, but no oh, <laughs> I read your mind. <laughs> So uh -huh. you should take vitamin C. Exactly. Uh -huh. I think it's really important. Oh, very nice. Lupita says that you should enjoy more your life. Yes, yes. That's true. That's so true. Okay. What else, guys? Teacher, uh, maybe laugh. You should laugh a lot. Oh, yes. Yeah, you shouldn't complicate your life. <laughs> so you should laugh a lot. Okay. Yeah. Laugh a lot, right? I agree. Wow, get yeah. deep. <laughs> yeah, tell us. How do you say, for example, when value the city, you show save money? Yeah, that's so valid. So you should save some money. Okay. You should save. Oops, sorry. Should save some money. Okay. Yeah, you should save some money. All right. Yeah, I think it's very, it's really important. Anything else? Algo más que deberíamos hacer, guys? Is there anything else that we're missing here? Yvette? Camilo? Uh, you sure eat fruits? You should eat fruits. Yes, 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 yes. You should eat fruits. Or anything else? What else, guys? There are so many things. So, yes. Um, now, these are just like some general ideas when we're talking about uh, giving recommendations. And, uh, alguna pregunta? Do you have an equation with this? Uh, yeah, me. Miss, you said that he Con he, she, it, uh -huh. no se cambia el verbo. That's right. Y entonces con nosotros sí. Um, no, con ninguno. Lo que sucede no, es que okay. normalmente terceras personas es, eh, hay un cambio, right? Um, but... Pero se mantiene para todos. Exactly, exactly. Okay. Should okay. Es, es un auxiliary verb y al igual que can, al igual que couldn't, no hay ningún cambio. So that's really important. For example, here, si yo quiero cambiar el sh you or she no sufre ningún cambio and I'm doing exactly, I'm saying okay. the same information. Yes, that's right. Okay, guys, so um, now, ¿qué sucede si yo quiero hacer una pregunta? What happens si yo quiero saber si yo debo de hacerlo o no? Si quiero pedir recomendaciones. Es bien fácil. Look at it. For example, um, I have this one. She should do exercise. Ya lo cambié. Y quiero preguntar si ella debería hacer ejercicio. ¿Qué es lo que voy a hacer? Well, guys, tomo solamente el should. Lo utilizo al inicio. Should. Y hago un intercambio. En vez de decir, she should do exercise. Lo voy a copiar y lo voy a pegar abajo. So you can look at example. 
I'm going to say, should she do exercise? Y ya lo convertí en pregunta. So I already made this into a question. ¿Qué cambié? Well, solo cambié el orden de los dos primeros. She should, should she. Eso fue todo. Y ya se convierte en pregunta. So, um, vamos a practicar ahorita. We're going to practice uh, this part. Y luego ustedes me ayudan to make questions too. So, tengo un par de escenarios. I have a couple of scenarios, guys, that I want you to give your recommendation, what you think about it, si deberíamos o no deberíamos eh, hacer las cosas, right? What do you think about this one? Take a look at this one. It says, give some recommendations. And let me read it for you. Uh, it says right here, tomorrow I have a really great job interview. It is for a Russian language specialist. Really well paid. Ooh, muy buen salario, guys. The only problem is I don't speak any Russian. What can I say during, during the interview? Um, so look at this scenario. The person has an interview. Pero le piden ruso, right? It's for a Russian language specialist. El salario es muy bueno, the salary is amazing, but what do you think he should do? Debería mentir? Um, should he say the truth? Should he, I don't know, learn Russian? Uh, so what do you think he should do, right? So vamos a crear al menos cinco recomendaciones, at least five recommendations for this person. And I have, tengo un segundo escenario, I have a second scenario, let me show it over here. Wait, wait, wait. Let me show it to you. Oh my God, what is wrong? Okay, there we go. Um, and this is kind of, um, it's just a poquito más sensitive. Well, well, kind of sensitive, you know. So let's take a look at it. It says, um, every time I go into my boss office, right? Okay. He takes his shoes off, right? Se saca los zapatos. So every time I go into my boss's office, he takes his shoes off. <laughs> his feet really smell, right? So his feet stink. So I have a palabra in English. There is a word that we use, que es stink, right? Como que huele mal, like huele feo. So it stinks. Things. I'm going to write it here. So it is things. Now the question is, what should I do? Guys, if we are talking about your boss, um, ¿cuáles serían sus recomendaciones para mí? What are your recommendations? ¿Qué creen que yo debo de hacer? What do you think I should do? ¿Debería decirle, should I tell my boss? ¿Debería mentir? Should I lie? Or le envío una carta anónima? Should I send like an, I don't know, what do you think I should do like in these two scenarios, right? Uh, so same thing, vamos a discutirlo, discuss it, and escojan solo cinco de todo el grupo, right? Try to select five. Please, eh, pueden utilizar el chat, pero necesito que hablen. I really need you to speak, especialmente que intenten ordenarlas y decirlas en voz alta, right? So, son dos escenarios. Les voy a dar un par de minutos. I'll give you some minutes para que vayamos, discutamos. And en todo el grupo, escojamos al menos five recommendations you have. Pónganse de acuerdo, right? Si debo mentir o no debo mentir. So, what should I do in this case? Y en la segunda, lo mismo. Debería decirle a mi jefe, or I shouldn't tell my boss. Y por qué no, right? Why not? So, give me one moment here. I'm going to send you to these groups. I'll give you some minutes. Les voy a estar compartiendo desde acá la presentación para que you don't need to, um, you know, take pictures or anything. But uh, ir por ahí los visito, guys. And I'll be like visiting and checking you out. En caso tiene, tengan dudas, también es el botoncito de ayuda, right? Uh, guys, let's go to the groups. Discútense, discútenlo, pónganse de acuerdo. So get in agreement. And then cinco y cinco, five recommendations for each scenario. Let's go, let's go, let's go.
Thank you, Manuel. No problem. That's okay. That's totally fine. Hello guys, let's go to the second scenario.
Ready, guys. Thanks a lot for coming back. So, gracias por regresar. We were like giving some recommendations here. Estamos dando un par de recomendaciones, right? A couple of ideas. And it's really important to know your opinion. So, um, más que en realidad la opinión o más que la recomendación, es el hecho que podamos comunicarnos, right? Y podamos dar recomendaciones. Um, so, pudieron terminarlas? Were you able to finish the recommendations? Do you have a couple of them? Uh, it's really interesting porque ambos grupos tienen ideas diferentes. So, let's go ahead and compartamos lo que tienen. Let's share what you got. So, remember, las recomendaciones son para mí, right? Yo tengo este problema. I have this problem and I need your recommendation. I really need your solution here. So guys, comencemos por el último. Let's get started with the last problem and give me um, some recommendations you have. Number number three or the last. My mother-in-law leaves uh, my house now. She does not have a job. She sits on the sofa all day eating chocolates, bonbons, whatever. She does not clean or cook and she is not very nice. Guys, what should I do? What is your recommendation here? Uh, I shall uh, talk with my wife about this situation. I, I, I'm so sorry, I couldn't hear you. So I should? Uh, talk with my wife. Oh, okay. About this, about this situation. Okay, okay. So, imagínese que la recommendation is para me, right? You're giving me say. some recommendations, yes. So I should talk yeah. to my husband. Let's. You, uh, you told your, uh, you told, uh, talk with uh, your husband. Okay, so I should talk to my husband. All right, sounds good. Um, okay, guys, qué más? We have a lot of things. Quick question: Debería hablar con ella? Should I talk to her? Or not? Um. Yes, Miss. I. Yo pienso que sí. Okay, so I should talk to her. Guys, Calpina, what do you think? It's Is it a good idea to talk to her? Should I talk to her? Yvette, what do you think? ¿Quiénes están casados? Guys, I don't know who's married. Give us recommendations. Me, no. <laughs> you, you're not married? No. Mm, but it's fine, but it's fine. Yo tampoco. Okay. So, <laughs> inventemos. Let's make Salte it up. Con baby. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Good uh, for you. It sounds all right. No, but, but inventes el amis. Imagínate. So, imagine. <laughs> okay, so give us some recommendations, guys. So, what do you think? Is it a good idea? Is it a good idea or not? Debo de hablar con ella. Should I talk to her? Uh, Camilo? Lepita? Vane, what do you think, guys? De repente se quedaron callados, guys. What? What happened? What's going on? How do you say algo así como you show get the sería her mother-in-law out of the house. I should sea, get out. O sea, cómo se podría sacarla de la casa? Um. Oh, yeah. That was the word I was like mentioning here. Deme un segundo. Era the word was. Get out. Her. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So kick her out. Second. There you go. So kick her out. Mm -hmm. Debería sacarla de la casa? Should I kick her out? Uh, mm -hmm. Kick her out. Okay. ¿Qué más, guys? What else? Oh, wait, wait, wait. So I should kick her out or I shouldn't kick her out? 
this is a really important thing. Guys, ¿debería sacarla de la casa o no? Do you think I should kick her out? Lupita, what would you say? Yes or no? no. Excuse me. Repeat, miss. Yes, absolutely. So in the chat está la expresión kick her out, que es como echarla. Right? O sacarla mm -hmm. de la casa, pero en no. echarla. So, no. my question is, should I kick her out? No. Okay, that would be a no. Um, guys, what do you think? Los demás, Bane, Isaías. Ya están pensando en que es viernes. Sí, yo creo que hay okay. el brain. Yo podría hablar. Okay, I should talk to her. Mm -hmm. Okay, to okay. Her. So, I should talk to her. All right, sounds okay. Okay, guys, vamos al anterior. Let's go back to the previous one because también habían como un par de ideas bastante fuertes with this one. And it says here, um, guys, ¿qué tienen con lo del jefe? It says, like, my boss feet smell really bad. So, ¿cuál es su recomendación? What's your recommendation with this one, guys? Um, mm -hmm. Hacia el jefe eh, se le podría decir, eh, you should open the window. Ah, okay, okay. So I should ask my boss to open the window, okay. Sin decirle. So I shouldn't oh. tell him. Yeah. Okay, I shouldn't tell him. Guys, el otro grupo, you know, is straight to the point. Super um, directos and I really like it. <laughs> They were like, yeah, tell them. So you what that first. you should put the shoes. Oh, you should put on the shoes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Probably you solo le diría como boss. Um, did you notice a very <laughs> strange smell? <laughs> I don't know. Uh -oh. um, ah, Yeah, <laughs> I don't know, guys. Creo que yo no le podría decir. I think I couldn't tell my boss, like, oh, you know, they stink, but I don't know. Uh, hey, you yeah? should buy, buy incense. Ah, okay. So you should buy. Creo que el otro grupo, eh, like Deborah's group, tenía como, I should buy them like some powder, uh, uh, como talco, right? So maybe I should buy my boss some powder. Pero es un mensaje como un poco directo, right? It's kind of direct. Es el jefe. He should use a sock. He should use some Maybe socks. Not use. Okay. Oh, that can be. Pero a veces los zapatos también, guys, they affect. Y veo a Ivette así como, oh my God, no. So, Ivette, tell us. ¿Usted lo haría? Would you do it? No. Okay, so what is your recommendation? I can say I'm polite. Okay, so I should be polite, pero si le diría, so I should tell him. Por eso pensamos de que le diríamos que abriera la ventana. Okay, so I should tell him in a polite way. Okay, 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 okay. That's totally fine. Todos tenemos personalidades diferentes, right? And it's super, super valid. Okay, yeah, yo creo que iría también como vos... It smells weird. Uh -huh. It smells super strange. Pero no como, ah, son sus zapatos. <laughs> I, I don't think I could do that. Okay. Uh, and the first one, guys, it says okay. like. ¿Cómo yes? se dice? I got to encerrado en inglés. I got to encerrado. Sí. Es que es una expresión muy, o sea, la sé en español, pero en inglés tendría que haber algún equivalente. I got to Déjeme, déjeme, let me check. Ok, no Como algo que está escondido, right? Sí, 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 algo que... Algo... Ok, let me investigate si hay algún idioma for that, porque son expresiones bien, bien propias del idioma. But let me check. To be honest, no, I'm not sure. I don't remember at the moment. But let me investigate. If there's any, I let you know Monday. Um, and guys, la última es con respecto a la interview, right? Uh, this interview is going to be in Russian and I don't speak Russian. So what should I do? Should I lie? Debería mentir. What do you think? 
Hello, Manuel. Oh, I'm glad. I'm happy to see you at home. Thank you for reporting that. Sounds really good. Uh, yes, Bana? You shall be honest. Oh, okay. Aunque no me den el trabajo. <laughs> I will not get the job, so okay. I should be honest. You shall find another job. Ah, okay. So I should find another job. Yeah. Guys, what do you think about this one? Ustedes mentirían. Would you lie? No, Isaías, no. Camilo, Debra, mentirían, guys? Would you lie? No, you wouldn't. Me dice que cuesta mentir en español, no digamos en inglés y el ruso es ser más. <laughs> okay. I have no idea about Russian, but yes, you have a pointer. Okay, guys, super good job. Muy buen trabajo dando recomendaciones. I'm super glad porque el tema lo agarraron super rápido en you started using it. Um, so esta corresponde a la uh, section number 11. Uh, please, guys, comencemos a trabajar in like unit number three. El día de mañana tenemos eh, revisión, so please pongámonos al día que se me queda un poquito atrás. Los que ya están completos, guys, no se preocupen. You're good. Ya salieron de ese compromiso, right? Y mi recomendación es que avancen para que se queden ya más tranquilos, right? Si tienen tiempo, un ratito el fin de semana y you know, una sesión por día. Es mucho mejor que hacerlo todo junto. Guys, antes que se me vayan ya a descansar, yo sé que ya es viernes, el cuerpo ya lo reciente. Uh, solo les tomo asistencia, me ayudan un momento with your camera, please. And let me go over attendance. So, let me see here. I got Camilo. Gracias, Miss. Gracias, Camilo. David. Regálame solo confirmación, David, please. Acabo de ver a David. Esto es. Eh, Debra. Hi. Debra. Hello. Thank you. Uh, Lupita. Here, Miss. Thank you so much. No está Eric. Eh, Estela Abigail. I haven't seen her. Grisal eh, is here. Isaías too. Yvette. Present teacher. Gracias, Miss. Um, do I have Javier? No, right. It's not there. Okay, Jorge. Jorge sí está trabajando. Present teacher. Gracias, Jorge. ¿Ya terminó de trabajar, Jorge? No yet. Sorry. Sigo. Oh, my God. Okay. Espero que le abunde. I really hope you finish fast. Thank you, teacher. Yeah. Enjoy it then. <laughs> I got uh, Carla. Oh, I haven't seen Carla either. Eduardo ya está en casa, I guess, right? Gracias, Eduardo, Eduardo por conectarse to Luis, eh, Mr. Cruz. Mr. Cruz estaba ahí. Mr. Castaneda. Gracias, Miss. Thank you, Manuel. Gracias, Miss. Gracias, Vane. Present, Miss. Gracias, Miss. Wendy, I haven't seen her and I haven't seen her. Okay, guys, amazing. So, thanks a lot. Gracias a todos por conectarse el día de ahora. Hopefully, nos vemos hasta el día lunes, guys. Que descansen mucho. Have an amazing night. And I'll be seeing you around. So, bye, guys. Enjoy bye, your weekend. Bye, Thank bye. you, Griselda. Yes. Bye, yeah, bye no teacher. Worries. Happy weekend. Bye, bye, guys. Thank you. Likewise. Have a good bye, night. Bye. Thank you. See you on Monday. Bye-bye. See you. See you.